Well, hello and welcome to a short clip showing you how to make an origami Chinese junk, a rather magical boat. I was uh, amazed at the number of people that watched the uh, little clip about making a sampan. Obviously origami is popular, so I've decided to make another clip showing you a different kind of boat. When you've finished folding this relatively simple model, you'll end up with a paper fold that looks like this. And the last fold, which is always the magical one, you um, fold the model in half and then you'll uh, pull the back end uh, out to make it three-dimensional and you'll pull the front end out again ease it out and you turn what was a little flat model into a lovely three-dimensional uh, boat two little tabs on the side you can fold them out and your model should sit and uh, be ready to uh, float. And this is another model that can be like the one I made in the previous film, have a candle in the middle of it and be floated with the name of your favourite charity written on it. Why not? So, ready to go. You need to take a square piece of paper. Start with the coloured side whichever way, doesn't matter. And as often with these models, fold Increase nicely diagonals. Same thing on the other corners. Bring your points together as nice and tidily as you can. Two diagonals. And your nails down there crisply. Crisp folds. Open up. Pull the paper in half. Corner to corner. Crisp fold through the middle. Same thing the other half, following the guides, corner, half line, half corner. So you have half folds, vertical, horizontal, corner to corner, corner to corner. Next, again, classic origami beginning, fold <coughs> the core, four corners to the middle, tidily, neatly. Symmetrically as you can, four corners to the middle, and nice tiny creases. And the next step is easy each edge is going to be folded to the middle. So we take the lower edge, fold that to the middle, turn the model around, take the lower edge. Fold that to the middle. Give it nice tidy creases. Two edges have been folded to the middle. The same thing. Two ends to the middle. Do it nice little thick packet. Lots of layers here. So again, keep those creases nice and crisp by running your fingernail along them. I'll open that up again. The square. Four corners folded to the middle, two sides folded in, and the two ends folded in. And then next, the points need to be brought out. So take each point, bring it out, next point, just bring it out along the diagonal. Same thing, so if I can fold them back in, you can see easily how it's done. The end, point folded out, other end, point folded out. Same thing the other side, take the point inside, Oop, ease it out, crease that nicely. Same thing, turn it around, ease it out, and that gives you. In fact, if you close this the other way, it gives you a windmill base, but we're not interested in that. We have a base like this. So, <clears throat> once you've got this far, turn the model over, and you're going to have, you see the two little sort of pockets there behind. Bring the edges to the center. Make a nice crease. Turn it round. Edges to the center. Make a nice crease. Turn your model over. Looks like a pair of skis. Open up the flap inside and flatten this 
in a piece turn that round same thing you've opened up the edges so flatten this in a piece and here you could use your imagination and make as many other folds as you want and turn that into a totem pole an African mask a funny face whatever your imagination says but we're going to carry on making our boat so once you've got that far you've got these two little flaps here that need pulling out pull them out gently so as not to tear the paper just put your finger in there underneath just slowly pull out that flap make sure you don't tear the paper at all turn it around and the other flap and you're nearly finished now other flap. so that's your model so far and lay it flat on your table turn it over bring the points into the middle there second point into the middle same thing the other side and on this stage of the model one end will be the back of your boat Chinese junk the other will be the front so one end is going to be pointed the other uh, flat and so the flat end fold that flap in and just roll it over a few times let's uh, fold it uh, uh, in half and in half again that's going to make the seat at the back end of the boat and the front of the boat a point same thing you need to make fold a point from here to the far point fold a straight line from here to the point I can't see very well from this angle so I'm doing my best to make a nice sharp boat shape point but you'll take your time and do this much more neatly than I'm doing so there you are and this is where we began our clip earlier on you see that's not to uh, to bring that point in tidy that up a bit there that's better and this is where we came in at the beginning of the film the model we're going to turn it over like this fold it in half so that you've got the two flaps on the inside like that back end of the boat front of the boat fold it in half and then gently ease out the back end to make it into a three dimensional rear end and ease out the front end of your gondola let's help it shape into form yeah, I could have done this a bit more neatly but in the time allotted for the clip I hope you can follow how to make a rather lovely origami Chinese junk. Thank you for watching and enjoy your junk. It will float, I can assure you.